Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to GameStar TV Monday Night Madness coming at you live from our studios across Australia and New Zealand. This is the Zowie GameStar Overwatch League and we are absolutely pumped for week number four of the league. We're going to crack straight on into it with our first match of the night. It's going to be... Uh, Orbit.gg taking on Royal Allegiance, who are entering the competition for the first time tonight. But that's okay. We reckon they're going to stomp around all over. Uh, we know that Ms. Marauder, at least, will be wearing a fantastic new T-shirt, uh, courtesy of Games. So she won the raffle last week. Cracking on into it, your casters tonight for the first game are none other than Bobby J and uh, newbie Gaimar on analysis. Uh, so Bobby J, take it away. Thank you very much, uh, Crisis. How are you tonight, Gaimar? Oh, I'm doing well. How are you? I am pretty well myself. And we've got Orbit GG, very well-known team in the scene. And then we've got Royal Legions, a new team tonight. Yeah, I've seen them a bit in scrims, but I don't think they've entered any Zoe Gamester tournaments before this. Yeah, we've got Orbit, who is rank number six currently on the Zowie GameStar Overwatch leaderboard. And then on the POW, ANZ POW rankings, they're rank number nine. So Royal Legions have a bit of a task ahead of them tonight. Yeah, as a new team, you know, Chivak, Yvan, Phoenix, I haven't seen before. But Boyray and Miss Marauder are actually supports from Incept, who were a relatively strong team before they disbanded. And then there's Pressure, who also, I don't know. And then we've got... Miss Guys, I've got to say, say, just quickly over yeah. in Twitch chat, the Royal boys are getting a bit of early support. So, a couple of fanboys for the Royal uh, boys in now Twitch chat already. Early in the match. Hasn't even started. They're getting the uh, cheer squad going. Shout out to Twitch chat, because if we get... is it um, Crisis can correct me if we're wrong, but if we hit 100 viewers, we'll be doing another t-shirt giveaway. And we're back here on Li Zhang Tower, our first map tonight in the Zao against our Overwatch oh, League, week number four qualifiers on Bobby J. And I'm yeah, Guy, man. Yeah. I'll, on analysis, it looks <laughs> like a good match here. Li Zhang Tower is, you know, a staple map. We, we've seen this map before, and it's a map teams have practice plenty. And with similar typical lineups tonight, the characters. Yeah, I don't know about this Torbjorn on RA Esports, but that's likely just a troll. And yes, we see it change off to a soldier. The teams are going into the courtyard here, right in front of the tower, in the original tower. Going back and forth, Slapasaurus is already keen to get things underway, going right into Phoenix's face. Blakey doing the same. No one on the checkpoint yet, as Garp is hovering just above the team. Getting some rocket shots off. 10 seconds still the point unlocks here. Dark hovering right in front as Phoenix goes right behind him, trying to get through as the shield goes down on top of Blakey and Jake, but he falls down and they're pushing them back into the spawn. Yeah, you know, it was quite a back and forth with that Winston jumping in just a bit too quick, but uh, some good pickups there for Orbit. Coming back in now, the control point secured, going up 8% here. Lofty has his ultimate on the Mercy as Phoenix puts the shield down already and he jumps ahead so he's not going to have his shield here as he goes in on Blakey pull back here and they're trying to find a way in here Yeah, it's some nice early pickups is what you need to win these sort of fights and we see Orbit get two and that's really what wins these fights in King of Hill. Yeah, on top here is Saposaurus zapping away as Miss Maud as Mercy forcing yeah. her back here as the Winston pops his ult here being slapping people off the point but Saposaurus has quite a lot of slack so let's see if he can out slap him as they do capture the point and stay in control 43% yeah, Orbit really got the early advantage in that fight, and King of the Hill with such a brawly game mode, you really need those early advantages. Now they've got the point, it'll be very difficult for RA to come back at this point. Um, time is not on their side, with ultimates all up now, besides uh, EP's, uh, oh, sorry, EP, uh, Soldier 76. 
as they're going to look to hold strong here as the team of Royal Allegiance are starting to push in now. Farah on top, shooting away as the rest of the team underneath, but they're getting zapped by this uh, Winston here. As Blake is firing away from three of his Reaper. Oh, the... Well, I'm trying to say her name, but I didn't get it. It's um, Yvan, but she hit a rocket barrage. The Lucio old anyway comes over the top. So there's any... The first in here as well. Everyone back up here. Lucio old pops to the red side. Everyone's health bars. Um, Full now, Cyprosaurus trying to bring them back down, but the healing pops down to 76, keeping that Reaper alive along with the Farah. Farah falls down here, Phoenix popping away onto the Soldier 76 on the outside, and they're going to be capping the point. Yeah, we saw there a beautiful raise from Miss Marauder to ensure RA Esports captured that point, and that's what it really takes as a Mercy. You really need to be getting those clutch raises to win those fights. Old up here for Phoenix and Zaya, so he's on his, he's on the Reaper now, he's switched from um, the, the Winston as Garth hits the Rocket Barrage on the outside, turns up two, Blakey gets one, Jake gets another, and they cleared the point. Yeah, RA Esports used a lot of the ultimates in that previous fight, which opened it up for Orbit to then win this fight. It was good restraint from Orbit to uh, still have those ultimates. Gaima, we got Orbit picking up the first point here, pretty clean victory so far. What? Yeah, it was. It, RA Esports showed a lot of, you know, uh, confidence, and they used that one fight really well. If they can continue to have some good fights like that one that they won, it is entirely possible for them to still win the map. Right. No um, player changes on the side of Royal Legion, so no hero changes here. Yeah, the comps on Lijiang Tower generally work pretty well for all of them. There are some changes you can make, but overall, you can stick the same comp through the whole map. Got the blue side here, Orbit GG, rank number 6 on the Zowie Game Star leaderboard. So, they'll be looking to shoot up through the rankings here, as we've got a few teams tonight that aren't a part of the, the competition this Thursday, being the Chiefs and Tainted Minds. So, a good opportunity for teams tonight to be able to push up through the leaderboard as they fight. In amongst the server room, Cyprosaurus once again in the middle of the action, along with Dark, and he's hitting his head on the ceiling, trying to get some missiles off. On top of as there's Miss Marauders falls down, they've got three kills here, two to Slapasaurus, and they're looking pretty strong already. Once again, it was those early picks really making the difference. But here, they seem to have overextended, so this could be a counter-attack here. Coming through here, straight from the spawn, they're rallying the team up here on Royal Evolution before they choose which route to take. Looks like they're going through the server room here, as we've got Blu-ray, Yvan, on the uh, Farah, shooting away, pulls back now though, shooting the shots, the shield goes down though from Slapasaurus, and he pops the final rage, he's going in face first, slapping people away there, haven't gone fast and they could just walk onto the side I think, but they're just all caught here, and the monkey goes down. Yeah. Uh, RA Esports didn't really take advantage of that pick they got on the overextension. He's just waiting for him to come back to the fight, and that could cost them. Rolling up here, but they're all underneath a rocket barrage, and they're getting cleaned up by Darth, and that's a triple thing. Yeah, it would just be Orbit cleaning up at this point as the res comes out, now with all their team up. RA will have to regroup after those last two picks. Those staggered spawns which Orbit have been causing are really effective for delaying. Uh, other teams push us. Descent here from Orbit GG. Already a strong showing in the first round here tonight. Here on Lu Jang Tower. We have Slapasaurus and Blakey trying to shoot here on the left hand side. Trying to distract them, but they've all come through here through the main door. And we've got the Reaper ult here, the Death Blossom, but the shield goes down from Slapasaurus. Protect a couple of the team members. So I've got a few casualties here. The Soldier 70s, oh sorry, the Slapasaurus and Blakey and Jake all down. And Absolutely. Yeah, for some reason Orbit decided to use a res after the fight was over last fight, and that meant they didn't have the res this time, which did cost them the point. Pushing on to the point now, waiting for the team to rally up. Soldier 76, Lofty's Mercy on the outside here, along with Faro. Trying to choose which jaw to go through, Slap Saurus doesn't even worry about that. He goes straight in, all the way on, uh, onto uh, Faro over the top, Zyra in the middle. 
taken out. They haven't been survived here with everyone of all the he gets up a Saurus, taking down another blade, he gets Boy Ray as well. And they've only got Dahlia left alive here along with Mercy and Reaper. They've all fallen down, only Reaper remains here in his Phoenix and he's trying to get away and they're gonna force him out. You're trying to impress yeah, that was just some really tight play from Orbit there. Uh, a lot of ults were used by Royal Allegiance, and so now Orbit does have the ult fund, which could be uh, instrumental in this fight. 94%, only 5% remaining now. They're gonna have to rush to the checkpoint. They've been held up at the spawn here to slap Asaurus, hitting his ult, but a triple kill from Blakey, and that seals the deal. They're gonna win round one here, Orbit GG. Yeah, admittedly Royal Legion is a new team to the competition and Orbit is an established team, so let's just see this play of the game from Daft off Orbit. Daft here with the Farah in the Plant Trikes play of the game, hovering just above Royal Allegiance here, getting ready to pop that ult, that rocket blast right to the face there. Yeah, Daft really just showing his medal there with good positioning. Congratulations to Orbit GG. Nice victory here on Li Zhang Tower in your game star, Zowie GameStar Overwatch League Week 4 qualifiers. And it is now time to select our Plantronics MVP for the match. The nominee will be going to the draw to win one of three Plantronics Rig 500 HD 7.1 gaming headsets. And Gaiba, who is your Plantronics MVP of the match? For that match, it seemed like the reasons on both sides were really good, but I think the MVP was actually daft. His Pharah was really creating some good picks opened up some strong advantages and in the end won some team fights so I'd like to give it to Darth. Congratulations Darth for picking up your Plantronics MVP nomination from none other than Gaima. So we're going to take a short break here. We'll be back with round number two which is on Watchpoint, Watchpoint Gibraltar and EJ and Gaima will be, will be bringing you the action in round number two. So we'll see you shortly on GameStar TV number one.